Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Bearded Man Studios, and today I wanted to uh, kind of go over, I had a request on uh, user interface being allow, allowing you to click a button and switch scenes. So this is uh, kind of going to show how to do that. It's going to be a light overview, um, and you can take it much deeper. So uh, here we go. Here's our scene we're going to teleport to. It's just this sphere going... Uh, diagonally back and forth and so anyways I'm gonna jump back to this scene that I have called menu and start the process so inside of my scripts folder I'm gonna create a C sharp script and I shall call it uh, just call it main menu seems somewhat suitable and uh, forgive me as I do not know how to pause a video or anything like that uh, with Open Broadcaster, but uh, I can kind of talk through it while it takes a second to open this. Um, one thing I think I can show you uh, is the Unity 3D script reference. If you go to the script reference, if you haven't been here before, it is awesome. You can type in stuff like button and It'll take a second, then you'll see GUI.button, and it'll show you a kind of a small example of how to use it. Uh, switch to C-sharp, because you should always be working in C-sharp, in my opinion, and in employer's posi uh, opinions. But it shows an example, so I guess a little throw out there on this website. That's just docs.unity3d.com forward slash documentation forward slash script reference. So back to what we were doing over here. We have our main menu. Let me make that larger. It's good enough. Ooh, that's huge for mine. Let's make it. Yeah, that's all right. So we're gonna go ahead and um, start off with our main menu. First of all, we can actually delete both of those functions, and let's do a private private void on GUI. This is important. It must be this function name. On GUI controls all of the graphical user interface uh, and how it draws. So um, this is going to be a very simple um, button here. We're just going to say if GUI dot button, and it's going to ask for a position. So we're going to type in a new rect for uh, the position. We'll make it at 15 on the x, 15 on the y. Um, make it 200 in width and uh, 100 and 10 on the height. This is just arbitrary number, I just made it up. And let's say go, or let's say load level as the string. So if that, we'll do application.load level. Uh, let me jump over here, see what the level's name was. It was called level, conveniently. Level. So, uh, sorry if you heard that, I should probably delete, or close that application. Um, there we go. So application dot low level level. So now if we jump back over here, we can go to our scripts that we just made and drag it onto the main camera. Might as well. Main camera's fine. If we hit play, you'll see this giant button over here that says load level. If we click that, it errors. Oh my goodness. Could not be found. Ah, if you're ever doing this, if you're ever trying to load a level, be sure that you I to open up sorry <laughs> be sure that you add it to the build settings to open this I pressed control shift B you can also go to file build settings and it'll open this window what we need to do is drag our menu in there and drag our level in there if our levels not there it can't load it so that's what this error was so if we hit play click our button it's gonna load our level with the sphere going back and forth so one thing about Unity's UI is that you just cannot see what you're doing. Sure, I typed this out all in code. It looks cool in my head, but I cannot see it over here in my little mini display. Well, there is a way to do that. If we go above the class here and type in um, execute in edit mode in uh, square brackets like that, then when we jump back, you will see that uh, nothing happens. Oh, you have to click over here. There we go. And it'll pop up over here. 
So something you can do to make this streamlined is that you can say, all right, hey, I need a public um, rect, call it um, button, is equal to new rect. Actually, I think there's a rect dot, I guess not. So new rect, and let's pass in these values that we have here. Now we're going to take this button variable and stick it right here where we have this first this new rect inside of this button and we're going to make this a little more dynamic. We're going to say public string button label is equal to load level. So we can cut that, paste it there, and we can take button label and put it in there. And lastly, we can have a public string um, level to load is equal to, let's copy our level here, paste it there, copy level to load, and paste it in there. Now our script is highly customizable and we can use it everywhere uh, like a thousand times. So you can see here's our button here, right? Our button's up there and we can actually change it if we, uh, oh, execute in edit mode. So when I clicked it in edit mode, it loaded the level. Uh, that's one downside to execute in edit mode. It completely executes in edit mode. So um, that means that apparently our script wasn't saved onto our main camera. Let me save it. Sorry about all that jargon. Hopefully that didn't confuse you. Now anyways, back over here in our inspector, we have our rectangles, our, our rectangle which we can change. So if I change the position to be further over, you can see it moves in real time. And further down, and a little bit further over, that's cool. Let's change the text to say, load my level. And let's make the height a little bit thinner. Put it down a little more, something like that. And it's going to load level. Obviously, we don't have another level to load. Well, I do. I have this. Uh, I have this demo ground, which has nothing in it but this. So um, now you can see. Let's. I went back to my menu. If I play it, you'll see when I click, it loads this sphere going back and forth. However, if I change it to load uh, demo ground, hit play, and click it. Uh, of course, the demo ground is not inside of the lookup, so add it in. Then hit play and load level. And there you go, it loaded the level with this physics. So there you go, that's a quick way to make a button inside of the UI. The UI is fairly extensive and does a ton of stuff when you get into the more advanced stuff. Um, I can probably show you something. I don't know how long this video has been. Um, eight minutes. Eight minutes, 22 seconds. But you can do some awesome stuff. Uh, you can draw lines. You can do all kinds of stuff. If you really want to know, I can put up another video of some things that are actually done with the UI that are incredible. Um, they just take a minute to load, and I don't want to spend that extra time. Uh, doing all of that and going over it in this video. So that's a quick way that you can make a button and make it load, display it in real time, and be sure you do this because this is going to bug you later. Once you find all, all of your UI and you place it where you want and it's good, you should go back and delete this execute in edit mode as it does not need to be there. And in fact, if you don't want to delete it, you can just comment it out, whatever. It's like deleting it, but you'll have it for later. Just make sure you get rid of it because it'll confuse things. So my beautiful girlfriend is home and that is the end of this video. Have a good night.